Hey guys, welcome back to this old sound again of Internet Cafe Simulator with the Popo walking around here. Is that a gun? Hold up guys, we gotta check this out. That doesn't look like a gun, it looks like some kind of label maker. <laughs> anyway, you'll never know in this city. So, in today's video, I actually got a very interesting video for you guys today. We are gonna make a video of the best startup and like, let's call it the ultimate startup of Internet Cafe Simulator. So if you join a game, you start with $10,000, as you guys can see in the top right corner. So we're going to see what we can uh, purchase for $10,000 and see out of the three, which one will uh, give us the most revenue. So we all know that there is three options to choose from. Let's go quickly in here. I want to show you guys, it's going to be, I think it was Zamazar. There we go. So we can have option of three uh, different things we can purchase, such as the arcade machine, the computers, and scroll down, where is it? The game console. So out of the three, we're going to spend all of our money on each one separately. We're going to have to restart the game three times. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly which one is going to do the best. So I already know which one is going to do the best because I've already tested out this theory and it is so cool guys I mean I can't spoil it for you guys now and tell you guys what it's gonna be but you guys need to watch the video to understand otherwise at this given time moment I'll give you guys the time frame somewhere here up the screen so you guys can just go and click there and see exactly what I say just not to waste your time but at the same time I think it's really necessary for you guys to understand why I say so so let's first start off with computers so we're gonna purchase the cheapest thing of everything we can find so definitely Definitely, this is the cheapest one uh, for the computer. We're gonna need a computer. We're gonna need a chair. So, which one is the cheapest chair? Definitely this one. Three ninety nine. No, that's not the cheapest. Here's the cheapest one. Oh, that's nine ninety nine. Oh my goodness. We're gonna purchase one of them. Uh, we're gonna have to. We don't need to purchase headset. That's just an accessory. We're gonna have to get a cheapest keyboard. Definitely gonna be this one over here. Oh goodness. There we go. Then we're gonna have to get a mouse. So which one is the cheapest mouse? This one is one ninety nine. I think this is that huge mouse. Anyway, we're gonna take that one, and we're gonna take monitors. We need the cheapest monitor, which is gonna be this ugly thing over here. There we go. So technically, we're gonna need a table as well. Where's the cheapest table? This one is two ninety nine. Let's see, yeah, that's definitely the cheapest one. So there we go, $2.99. So currently we have got $7,296. So before we're going to continue and purchase more, I'm going to fast forward this part. I'm going to set everything up inside and show you guys exactly what we can purchase with $10,000. Dude, just please don't steal it, bro. Just please don't. There we go. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll, 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 I'll give you some pizza boxes from there. Might be some crumbs in it. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward this quick, guys. Then I'll be with you guys right now. And there we go, we installed all three computers with the cheapest keyboards, cheapest mouse, cheapest screens, cheapest computer, cheapest table, and cheapest chairs. So we had enough money to actually purchase three of them. So this is actually much better than I thought. I thought we would only get two of them, but we got a third one that is so crazy. So we can actually have three clients in here from day one. How cool is that, guys? So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the computer against the consoles and the arcade gaming. So I want you guys to keep this in mind that you're going to have three computers. Just remember that the revenue will probably be the lowest because once again, your computers aren't the best quality. The chairs aren't very comfortable. The keyboard and mouse isn't really that interesting. So the clients will come, they will get bored very quick and they will leave. And because it's cheap equipment as well, it means that uh, they can't play all the games. It's not going to be so entertaining. And also, if you guys do look over here, you got to actually purchase games. So, because we do actually have money, 
I mean, we can just purchase a few of them to solve that problem. There we go. Okay, so we purchased two, four, six games, which is honestly not that bad. So it might entertain the clients, but these computers will never run these games for too long. This place is probably going to heat up because of these old computers. So yes, we're going to move on to console gaming. So let me just restart a game. Let me purchase some console stuff, and then I'll see you guys just now. And we are back, so we're going to open the door, close it, as you guys can see, I already cleaned just now, everything's clean, I left the broom, oh my goodness, that's paranormal guys, paranormal, ah! anyway, let's continue, <laughs> we're going to come over here, uh, we're going to purchase console gaming, so we're going to go to Zamazar, which is probably going to be Amazon, um, we're gonna go to chairs as we need a chair. So obviously we're gonna go all cheap again So we're gonna need gaming consoles and The cheapest one is gonna be this one But I mean this is like a suitable game console for the start some games may not run like this is the lowest of lowest so We're gonna purchase a gaming console and as well as the cheapest remote which is gonna be this one and we gotta get a table so here's the tables unfortunately the uh what do you call it? The consoles only work on one table, which is the game console table. So we're going to have to purchase that. As you guys can see, we already dropped to 6,432. So this tells me immediately we will only be able to purchase two gaming consoles. So let's just wait for these quickly to go through. I think while it's going through, let's go get everything quickly. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Oh, did I just close that? No, anyway, let's chuck that one there on the floor. Don't just stand and look there, help me carry in, damn it. There we go. And I don't think I'm gonna fast forward this one. I think this is gonna be very quick. And this one. Maybe I should just yeah, quickly drop it over here. And there we go. Chair over here. Oh my goodness guys, you know what? I actually forgot something. There we go. And there we go so there we go that's skew anyway we forgot a screen can you guys believe it and here comes the worst luck guys we won't even be able to purchase two monitors because i just want to show you guys quick if you go to monitors these does not work on a gaming console like literally, literally anything that goes on the table like it on the console it doesn't work you literally gotta buy a screen that goes onto the wall such as uh, let's just go over there, close that, close that, close that, we just gotta go to TV, LCD, we gotta purchase one of these. Any screen that has to go on the table, on that gaming console table, will not work, unfortunately. And as you guys can see, we already dropped to $2,433, meaning that we can't even get two console gaming setups, and we still have got the cheapest table, the cheapest controller, and the cheapest game console jet? That's like a game console Boeing, rather. Alright, so here's our TV. I just want to try to demonstrate it for you guys as well. We're going to go and get a different TV. Which TV do you guys think we got? We got 2K left. So we know we can't purchase something else. So let's just purchase that one. So if we go over here, grab that, put it up against the wall. There we go. It's working now. So as you guys can see, it's working perfectly fine. We're going to wait for the other gaming cons, well, the TV actually, to see if it's going to work. But I can promise you guys now, it's not going to work. I did try this out in the beginning. This game was very difficult to get an understanding of it. Um, so, yeah, this is a screen. What we're going to do is we're going to... Uh-oh. All right, let's just shift this over there. Try that again. We're going to put the gaming console in front. So we got actually place to put the TV at the back. We're going to put that one over there. The joystick, which is actually a controller, we're going to put it over there. Let's take the screen, and you guys can see it's red. It doesn't want to fit on it. Like, this doesn't want to go. What can I, can I put it on this table? Nope, I can't. So yeah, this is technically a bomber, guys. There is literally no way a gaming console will win the comparison and just freaking yeet it out of the door. Close the business. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's closed. Go home, delete the game, jump on this. Can, it, can a guy jump? No, it can't. Yeah, everyone just walk over it. Yeah! Let me try. There we go. I also kind of hovered over it. Go for it. Anyway, so yeah, as you guys can see, to having a computer cafe is going to be a much better idea than having a console cafe. 
So we're gonna finish it up now with the arcade gaming. So I'm gonna quickly restart again, clean out this place again for the third time. It is so filthy when I get in here. You guys think that's filthy? You should see this place. All right, so let me quickly restart. And we are back and we just cleaned out this place for a third time. Just eyeing this guy, making sure he doesn't steal my emptiness or my broom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need my broom for the future. So we're gonna go and purchase the arcade gaming real quick. So we're gonna go to Zemazar Arcade Gaming. So we're gonna try to purchase the cheapest ones. Oh goodness, all of them are kind of expensive. There's a two one. Oh, there's a one oh nine nine. And yeah, that one is definitely the cheapest. So we can actually, by the look of it, purchase eight or nine of them. So this is definitely something I'm gonna have to fast forward. I don't think you guys wanna wait your so long for me to actually purchase nine of them. And there we go, it feels like 10 hours later, but it's only been like 10 minutes maybe. But as you guys can see in the top right corner, over there, ta-da! I've only got $109 left because I purchased all of these arcade gaming machines. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ooh, my maths is kind of accurate. So yes, as you guys can see and remember, with the computer, you can only have three computer setups, which was one, two, and three. With the, um, no, that was with the computers, yes. And with the console, we only had one setup. And with the arcade gaming, we have got nine arcade machines, meaning that we can have nine people in here at once. And also, they give a nice sound to it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's so refreshing. It's so good. So, yeah, I'm just going to stand here just to avoid some additional noise. Just close this door before that guy gets in here. So, yes, technically, uh, what I wanted to tell you guys is that, as I told you guys earlier, I'm going to move a timestamp for you guys. You know what, let's make this more dramatic. Let's take a walk down the city and tell you guys everything. So, if you watched the entire video, you would have seen that with the first shot, the computer gaming, we only got three computers set up in there. And that cost us in a total just over $8,000, if I'm not mistaken, $7,000. We weren't able to buy a fourth computer. So with the console gaming, we were only able to buy one console. That was so ridiculous. The waste of my money. Only having one client in there playing on the crappiest uh, console gaming and there possibly is in this game. And then there's so many people. And then also we did the arcade gaming, which we currently have. We got nine gaming arcade gaming consoles in there, and we got hundred and nine dollars left. So clearly it says that the arcade gaming can have more clients in at once, meaning that it's going to be the most profitable one. And also why I say the arcade gaming is that remember when you have got a computer, when people do come in, they will literally play on the computer they will leave and sometimes not pay that is why you got this baseball bat over here to hit the people that don't play uh sorry that don't pay but with the arcade gaming machine you can't play until you added the coins so anyone that walks in there and wants to play is gonna pay first before they walk out so you can go out you can go look what's for sale uh get some food maybe go back to your apartment talking about that i still have 109 dollars left so let's get some Oh wait, no, I want to eat. There we go. So let's get some bread and a donut. You know what? We can just get one of everything. Oh my gosh, food! I don't want to eat it anymore. So anyway, yeah. So the arcade gaming is definitely the ultimate start for your cafe. Yes, it's not the best of everyone, and it kind of looks ridiculous having all of the same color here. But I mean, for a start, if you guys want the ultimate start, I mean, in the day you can maybe get like four or five thousand dollars. I suppose you can get a lot from these gaming consoles. Maybe even if the time frame is fine, yes, we can actually open the shop and let's just see how many people walks in. I mean, I can promise you there's going to be much, much more people walking in here than with the console and the computer gaming. But yes, in general, I really do enjoy this game. I do enjoy to help you guys out. I do enjoy making educational videos. So if you guys do like the video, this video, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Also, go check out my other videos. I've made a lot of videos on how to how to start your gaming console and all that stuff we finally have some people walking in so i see there's three people going over here seems like another three people coming in over here no this guy wants to go to the loo yeah there's actually a loo here guys can you believe it so yes one two three there we go this guy no he's not gonna come in but anyway we already got six people in here this is double the amount of computer people as you guys can see look at my money it's already at 566 dollars and no one has even walked out yet 
Oh, you're in his bubble, bro. As you guys can see, I'm already on $700, and I just opened my shop. That was in literally 20 seconds. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video once again. I got more people. <coughs> Sorry, I've got more people coming in. One, two, three more people. There he goes. We currently got nine people in here. So also, as you guys can see, they have already paid so while they are working out. We've got more people coming in. And also, it's going to allow more people to come in. Anyway, Arcade Gaming is definitely the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you already haven't.